Welcome back to the sixth part in the series on the uh, content feed application and in this one we're going to carry on with the React front end and now that we actually have data from the API we're going to try to uh, pretty much just present that list on the page in a way that we can render each element using effectively the, the same bit of HTML so we're not duplicating code. So I'm going to go over to Atom and we've got here uh, at the moment we've got this content feed component and at the moment this is not really doing much other than uh, logging the results uh, to the console which I think isn't working because we we have some syntax here for some reason that we don't need so I'm just going to get rid of that and if I just uh, do that we should see yeah so now we've got that uh, API data coming back and we can we can actually use that and see that in our application so the next thing I want to do is uh, change this console log and instead of being uh, just logging it to the console I, I actually want to use that in some form so what I want to do is use react state and there's a set state method which you can use to do that but first we need to define some initial state so what I mean by that is uh, before I, I finish off uh, what, what I'm going to be doing with the results here I'm going to uh, pretty much define what's called a constructor uh, or in Python you'd be thinking of this as the sort of init method and this is just going to set some state on on this on this object so this dot state is equal to some object and that object is going to have items in it in our react app we are calling this list here that's coming back items and I'm just going to define that initially before we get the results back as an empty list uh, just so that when the application starts up it needs something to show it's just going to use that empty list that's fine that it doesn't have any data in it because when we make the call uh, using this fetch back to the API we can then do this dot set state and we can actually use uh, we can use that method to uh, update the state on this component. Now inside here instead of trying to just update the state or a particular uh, element in the in the object in the state what I want to do is I want to rewrite that so I'm actually going to define a new JavaScript object and I'm literally just going to say items and then this time instead of being an empty array it's just going to be results. Results? I think that's better. So now you can see we're back to loading, we haven't got any errors in the console or in uh, in our compiler's output. And the only thing that I need to do now, in fact, is update the render method to pretty much show us the, the data in the component state. So just to check something's working, I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to do something simple. I'm going to just say h1 and all I want to do is just, just output some, some tests, just check it's working. And then later on, I'll come back and update that to check that uh, we can we can actually get some test data in there. So at the moment, yes, we can see that that is rendering that correctly. And our API only has one element, but I'm going to try to get the data. This is a title and that description into the front end. So I want a, a, a title and a description sort of below it. So I'm also going to define a uh, just a paragraph tag. And here I'm just going to say, um, I don't know, some description for now, just to make sure that it's showing up. And you notice that the JSX is going to complain because we've got two uh, adjacent elements and it doesn't really allow that. So what I actually want to do instead, now that we know at least that we can render a single element, is I'm going to render... Well, I want to list out all the content items in the API, so I'm going to I'm going to make it a UL, and I'm going to use some JSX syntax to pretty much iterate through all that data and hopefully do something useful with it, like outputting it, like in the HTML format we were just mentioning. So to do that, I want to do this dot state dot items. So remember, that's referring to the items element in the state, which is currently in this React component, and I'm going to do a dot map. And dot map expects a, a function that we have to write here, and it's going to take the uh, element in the first element in this list and its index. So we can say something like uh, item and index, uh, which name the parameters, and 
then what we can do is if we return we can return actually some some HTML or, or some JSX syntax so I'm just going to return a h1 with item dot title and just to clarify item dot title the reason I can say item dot title is if you saw in the API response that is the name of the element within this this object here so let's see if we've got any problems with that so looking at the code I have actually noticed I've done I've missed something quite important and whenever you define a constructor uh, that's that's in a react component you want to call super and this is this is required because it needs to do other things which is in uh, the constructor method of the react component from which you're inheriting and I've also spelled the constructor method wrong which is why that wasn't working so now you can see we've got this is a title and that is coming from the actual API response. But now we've got it working with a single header element, we uh, we kind of want to add that description in there as well. And because we can't render multiple top level adjacent elements, uh, what, what we can do instead is we can wrap it in a div. So I'm going to uh, just have div and I'm just going to pretty much put the two elements that I want to render inside that. So I can do a paragraph tag here and I can say something like item uh, just a single item dot description remember this is the item that we're iterating over using this map function so a single item within this items list and uh, that's going to render that description for that particular item and remember it, uh, it would render two or three on the page if there were that many and I'm also going to just close off that missing parenthesis there. So let's have a look at that and see if we've got a... So now we can, you can see we've got a description and that is pulling through from the actual JSON API here. But one thing as you can see that React complains about is that it says each child in an array or iterator should have a unique key prop. And so we're iterating over this list here, but each, each element here should have its own key. Let's give it a... Uh, just a unique key then. So to do that we can just say something like key is equal to index. Remember those curly brackets as well because we're using the JSX syntax. And now you can see we've got a front end with some content on it, albeit not very pretty, but it is rendering and iterating through that list uh, which is coming back from the JSON API we defined.